Welcome to Edged Mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Carter. Sit back and enjoy this awesome unboxing. If you can't tell, I've got black gloves on. What does that mean? Well, typically, typically, that means that it's something special. And boy, do I have something special for you. Actually, it's for me, right? This is my stuff. This is mine. You can't have it. This is for me. Really special, really excited about it. And always, or as always, I'm always a little nervous opening something special. Uh, just, you know, worried I'm going to be disappointed. Worried it's not going to be as good as I hope. Worried there's an issue. That always sucks, uh, especially with expensive items or special items. If uh, something's wrong with it, it just always stings a little bit more. So, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Um, I think I slightly pre-opened this guy here. Pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure I'm just going to destroy this box right before everybody on here. This thing is uh, secure like a vault. So this is coming from Hollow Grind again. Really like those folks. Great people. Easy to do business with. They have a really cool. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of this box. Uh, we don't want to keep this. This is just receipt information. We've got our usual awesome tin full of band-aids in case you cut yourself. And then we have some stickers. Nice. Wow, that is cool. I had no idea this was going to be in here. This is really cool. Awesome stickers. We've got the... Uh, Marfion custom logo and then the um, Eagle Talon and then we've got ooh and then we've got hollowgrind.com check them out these guys rock um, my favorite retailer especially for Microtext but they offer a lot of different uh, a lot of different brands a lot of different stuff their layaway program guys they have a layaway program I think it's like four installments no interest no credit you just throw down a percentage of the item, assuming it qualifies, and the qualifiers are not crazy. You know, it's just, it has to be worth a, a little bit of money, but nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be some expensive custom. And uh, you can lay away, that's what I did on this. I laid this away. And it wasn't necessarily that I didn't have the money, it was more of a self-imposed pacing myself kind of thing, you know, so that I didn't get this. But I wanted to hold it because I didn't want any, anyone else to buy it. Got another uh, keychain Eagle Talon. I love this stuff. I am such a sucker for like stickers and patches and all that kind of fun itemry. So this is it. This is this is the guy. And I am not going to show you what the side says. So we're not going to look at that. You're going to you're going to get surprised with this. But we have the declar declaration. Why can't I say declaration? Declaration of authenticity here, piece of steel uh, that tells you what the model is and blah, blah, blah. And it's got signatures from um, the makers on here. We've got a microfiber cloth. We have the usual um, pouch, the custom pouch with the titanium dagger on the zipper like they do. We've got the titanium metal pouch right here. Uh, so far, it's been a tradition for me to remove this and place it on the front of every single one of these that I've gotten. And just like that, there we go. Now here is, you guys ready? I'm going to insert some uh, some drum roll here. Ooh, you can peek. Let's let's do a slow. Let's let's take it slow, baby. Ooh, look at that. Okay, see, so you've got the blue ringed hardware against the black, which looks amazing. You've got blue ringed on the glass breaker, satin, satin pocket clip. Let's make sure we get this off of here. What is that? That's concerning. What do we got there? Let's take care of that before we go any further. There we go. All right. That had me worried for a second there. There was some schmutz on that pocket clip, and I thought it was a little scratch at first or some sort of ding. It was not. It was just a little bit of, uh, of gunk on there. 
You can see the uh, Marfion emblem right there. Hefted aluminum. Ooh. Man, the blue on this thing, the blue freaking sets it off. The blue ringed hardware is my favorite. You've got the, the titanium button where the X is anode blue. You've got the three holes that are anode blue on the side there. And my favorite thing with these new customs is the milled logo. So the older version of these customs had the usual white laser of the emblem, but now it is actually milled into the side here in this hefted aluminum. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, hefted simply means hand finished. So these are done on a wire wheel, hand sculpted aluminum handles. You can see that the grain is not on the side. It is only on the front. And that blue, guys, um, I've seen some old customs where they overdo the blue, but these newer ones where it's just touches, uh, just really, really nice. Uh, whew. Love this thing. All right, you ready? You guys ready? I think it. I think you are. I think I'm ready. There she is. There she is. Mirror polished Bowie blade on this beautiful custom Marfione. Actual uh, three tone. So the primary bevel there is um, obviously mirror polished. Then you have blasted inside of the recessed area right here, and then you have satin finish on the flats. And this thing is out frickin' standing. Let me grab my little microfiber cloud cloth here. Can't even talk. Give this a quick little wipe. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't think it's coming across in the camera as well it, as well as it does in real life in front of me. But this is something else. I, I love the mirror polish. When we're talking Marfion Customs, it's like that is the way to go for me is to get that mirror polish. That's kind of the what exemplifies the Marfion Customs is that mirror polish and the Bowie blade. I've got a thing for Bowie blades. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I really like it. The only thing I would maybe put above the Bowie blade is the Inceptor blade or or interceptor blade or maybe the hellhound. I don't know. There's there's something kind of classy about this though and It's such a classic design. You know, it's different the Bowie blade. It's got a lot of uh, nuance to it a lot of detail to it But it is not uh, obnoxious, you know, there's no there's no weird kind of aggressive holes or anything in it It's just a very simple Bowie blade. So like all of the customs from Microtech the blade is 100% hand ground, hand finish, hand polished. The aluminum chassis is hand finished, and this is uh, only available on the custom line. All of these titanium um, uh, titanium hardware is all hand turned on a lathe, and then independently anode the accent color. And you can see that even on this button here, along the side, the flats of the side, it's anode. So it's not just the X and it's not just on the side there. It's also on the corners of the button. Along with the glass breaker, beautiful satin polished or satin pocket clip, hand, hand finished. Everything is hand done on this knife. Hand done. And what I really like about the Marfion custom line, especially the newer ones, is they're uh, they're just so much more classy than a lot of the other offerings, like at least in my mind, like the, the subtle finishes, it's not obnoxious, just really exemplifies beautiful design on this platform in an OTF. Same great action, same great uh, quality internals, just hand finishing done on this. All right, guys. So that is an unboxing of my favorite Marfion custom that I've ever had.